Hey guys, welcome to another Sparky Art tutorial. I can tell that you really liked my last video, so here we go. I have another one ready for you to watch. And um, for my oldest follower, don't you worry, I will come back with lifestyle videos and review videos. But you know, since it's a pretty popular topic now, Instagram filter creations, and I have my fair share of knowledge about it, I thought, let me make you happy and give you something new to try. So today, as you can see from the title, I will teach you how you can achieve that plastic surgery face distortion effect. This is a super fun effect to learn because you can have so much more control over your beauty filters or you can just make a very funny exaggerated um, distortion filter just for a laugh whatever you want you know the spectrum is super wide and it's up to your preferences so in case you're not aware sparky r make available for their users a bunch of uh, preset you know features um, and one of these is the distortion pack which i'm gonna link down below so as always don't panic that i don't want to drive you crazy looking all over the internet for stuff that i can make easily available for you on my description box but before we start the tutorial please if you didn't yet click the subscribe button and remember to leave a like to this video if you want me to keep uploading tutorials about uh, filter creations so that will help me understand if you actually want more or not anyway let's jump right into it and uh, let me explain you how this distortion pack work so let's assume you already have as usual a face tracker with a face mesh and a material attached to your face mesh. Once you are at this stage, all you need to do is to import your uh, face distortion file. So let's assume you already downloaded. You need to import this file right here into your asset section. Select your uh, face mesh and click on the plus button next to deformation and then select your face distortion pack which you just imported and you will automatically see all these sliders that will give you full control to each facial feature so you can literally distort every single part of your face and i suggest you for this to use the bird's view because you have a better understanding of the distortion you're making. For example, if you want to make the nose bigger or longer, then you can distort your eyes, you can make them bigger. See, you can work on one eye per time. This is for the other eye. You can make your eyes super big or you can pop them out. These are funny distortion, of course. But if you want to make very pretty plastic surgery kind of distortion, you just have to make small um, changes. That's why I suggest you, for example, if you want to create that beautiful um, kind of young baby face look, you can play with your face shaper so you have a more triangular kind of see to create a more slimmer effect on your face a more square kind of face this probably is good for males so if you want to create that very sharp jawline you can make your forehead smaller or bigger you can literally retouch every feature you want to retouch of yourself or to make a very funny um, distortion filter you know you can exaggerate and if you want to see all these distortion applying in real time on your model face or on yourself all you have to do is to select face tracker go on the right panel and click plus next to texture extraction and this will create a new texture aka your face or your model face then go on your material, go on the texture and select face tracker as texture. And this basically create a simulation mask which looks exactly as your model face or yourself. 
depending which camera you are using. So again, if you want to see this applying on your own face, just switch from one of the template models to FaceTime HD camera. So the only things that you probably notice is that there are still those funny lines as if you see double almost. Let's see when she opened her mouth, you can notice better. There we go. Do you see once again those double lines? So to remove that, just uncheck these two boxes, eyes and mouth, and this will automatically make it look more natural or at least more realistic. And here it is, you can literally see all the deformations that you are making in real time on your model face. See mouth, forehead, your nose. This is very very funny but also obviously you can make it look more pretty so you can create you know um, enhancement to your own face so for instance if you always wonder how would you look with a smaller nose or uh, with uh, I don't know a longer chin you can test on yourself some sort of plastic surgery effect in real time while you move and I think it's super cool and something that you can incorporate in your makeup filter as a form of beauty enhancement. So in that case, unless you are creating a very funny filter, I would suggest to, you know, keep it light with the face distortion. So just a little bit and I will mostly work with, I don't know, chin maybe a little bit to the forehead, you know, scaling that those kind of features, but without overdoing it. And before I forget to mention, make sure you select your uh, face mesh material, which is this one, and make sure the shader type is set to flat. And there we go. This is how you blend your face mesh mask on top of your model face. So this gives us control in terms of um, facial distortion directly on our model face without showing those ugly face mesh uh, mask lines. Also, to make features smaller, you just have to insert a negative value. So let's say minus 100. And you see this eye, it gets smaller automatically. So you can have a bit more control. Same things for the nose. It seems like you can only make it bigger with the slider. But of course, if you insert a negative value, you can make your nose smaller. And this is how you do it. Obviously right now it looks like uh, Latoya Jackson, so we don't like that. <laughs> so the secret is to try to find the right value, you know, to make beauty enhancement in, in a natural looking way. So you want to obviously, you know, make it look better unless it's a funny, purposely, you know, exaggerated filter. So let's try with minus 50. See, this is already slightly more realistic. Still very fake looking. So maybe let's do minus 30. There we go. This is a natural looking nose. And let's see again. Her natural nose was this one. So this is the first way you can achieve face distortions, but if you want to have more control and be able to make custom distortions, so let's say you want to create those beautiful plump lips or higher cheekbones or almondy eyes, you know, literally that plastic surgery kind of effect. You can learn all of that in my brand new class that I just dropped on Skillshare which is all about customization of uh, facial distortion. Just click the link below and you will be redirected to my full class. It's pretty easy and quite fast to go through. So you will learn in few minutes a lot of cool features. And you will also get two full months of premium membership on Skillshare with unlimited access to thousands of different classes, so not just my own, with absolute zero cost. This is a fantastic promotion, so take advantage while it's still on. So if you like this kind of tutorials, don't forget to check it out because, you know, you're gonna miss out if you don't. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <music>